Hello, everybody. Welcome to the next episode of Let's Play Urban Universalist 3 Divine Wind, Death, and Taxes, the host Shenra. Currently playing as Boromania. Oh, goodness. Our king just died. The year is 1617. We're just kind of fast forwarding through a bunch of random holy wars that people declared that Mutapa declared war on us. Uh, Fez declared war on us. We're just fast forwarding through it all. So now we have this crappy king, 454. Man, I was hoping this guy would die, but he didn't. What about his heir, 647? Well, his heir is not as bad. Let me restate that. His heir is slightly better. This guy is 455. Oh, we also got our alliance back with Iberia, because they finally finished their war with Britain. And I think they wound up giving a lot of stuff in North America back. But, you know, they should have peaced out when they had, like, 55% war score. What else has happened? Denmark gained southern Sweden back. Uh, Morocco won a big war against Iberia and took all this. Morocco also has some parts of Denmark. Morocco conquered Portugal. Morocco has Corsica. So Morocco is just being the big bully of the Muslim world right now. Well, I guess and Hindustan, but Hindustan has Ming to fight all the time, so they don't really have time to be a big bully. Up here, Twer won a war against England. Well, Britain, sorry. Twer won their war against Britain. They took all this shit. So they're looking primed to form Russia. They're currently at war with Prussia, so they may need some of these states. Chernigov, Polizia. I don't think they need them. I don't know. Maybe they do. Maybe these will help them get their uh, Russia going. In any case, we're just waiting for whoever is over here sieging Fez to finish so that we can annex them for two infamy. Down here, you can see we're just... Whatever. I don't know why they could war on us. I guess they thought we were weak, but uh, not really. So we're just going to finish that up. I guess this would be an opportunity for us to... Uh, just take a couple, or just the one. Yeah, just the one. And then take a lot of dollars. And then Japan will probably annex them, which is fine by me. Oh, they can give us all their money. That's nice. And get rid of some of your cores. I don't care. You can have all the cores you want. Oh, we could vassalize them, but we're not gonna. So what we'll do is we'll just take this one state, and then when Japan annexes them, we could be able to release them. Wait, is this a core? Yes. So if we take this one state, we'll be able to release Mutapa. And then they can control southern Africa for us. That'll be cool. Mm, I don't really care about what Japan does. They can do whatever they want. We just want dollars. Don't really care about your cores. They can't do anything else. So why don't you get rid of your cores up here in Ethiopia? Because that doesn't make any fucking sense. And get rid of all your cores on uh, Japanese lands as well. And those there. All right. So, two infamy. It wasn't one infamy because they declared tribal conquest on us instead of holy war, but whatever. It's the same effect. South Africa, please go back to Cape. And you, just come back to the coast. We'll get you on the boat. Japan can go to war with them later on and take the rest of it. I don't care. Colonialism on Bropan. Yeah, we're not going to do that. We do have our alliance with Japan back. And relations are back up to full, which is nice. Um, I spent a bunch of magistrates on paintings so that we could get an Inquisitor. Level 5. Not level 6, but whatever. So now we have a couple more missionaries coming in. This is nice. You can see we're currently missionizing all of Karakunlu. Once that's done, we will release them. We're also missionizing Arbol, which is Assyria. I'm not sure if we'll be able to release them. They might be one of those countries that you just can't release for some reason. But if it's possible, we'll be releasing them for sure. So in the meantime, we're going to go over here and missionize up uh, people that we plan on releasing these guys. And it's been five years, so we can do a holy war on them. I want our infamy to go down a little bit, though. Uh, but yeah, they're allied with Morocco and the Mamluks. And Twer is the defender of the Sunni faith, so... We might as well do a war with Morocco and the Mamluks at the same time as a war with Syria. So, these guys we could do right now, but the Mamluks we would have to wait out a truce. 
is 16, 19. All right, so just a couple years, not a big deal. All right, so in the meantime, not much else going on. We'll just pause here, and we'll come back with uh, if something happens. We're colonizing up here, so killing the natives and then go home. And yeah, for some reason, we have been unable to discover any of this shit, even though we, these are all full territories. All of them. And we just can't discover any of this stuff. It's like impossible. So whatever. We could have paid for a conquistador and then have our conquistador go over there. But I don't know why I didn't think of that. We have quests for the New World, but I didn't even think of that. Oh, you have to use a colonist, which we don't have. I don't know why I didn't think of that, because we easily could have done that. Oh, I had to clear my throat there. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of that, but oh well. Ooh, School Establishment Act. Yes, yes, yes. We built a university in Wallachia, which is still our capital. And if you do that, build a university in your capital, then you can do this, which improves production efficiency and reduces stability cost. I like it. I like it quite a bit. Because production efficiency is the number one money maker in our nation. By quite a bit. Almost 500 ducats a month come in from production. That's amazing. Tax is still a big one as well. Trade income will get better as our trade tech improves. And I believe there's an idea we could possibly take to improve our trade tech as well. Trade efficiency. There we go. So we could do national trade policy as well. That'll, that'll just be a huge bonus to our uh, income. Just like Smithian economics was a huge bonus to our production income. Anyway, pausing again. We'll be back if uh, something cool happens. Okay, everybody. Welcome back. The year is 1622. We are at peace for once. We kept joining all of our buddies' wars, but nothing ever came of it. War exhaustion is not gone yet. What we've been doing is colonizing some of these islands and stuff over here. Arusius. And we have a colonist going to Mahe. So we're just going to keep doing that for now. We're also colonizing uh, the southern coast of Mexico. Because why not? We can also give that to a vassal later on. But damn, this is just getting all chopped up. Savoy has taken Texas. Genoa is conquering mainland Mexico. Majapahit is regaining control over here, but they have a new uh, enemy over here at Malacca. Hindustan is as powerful as ever. Looks like they're conquering Bihar. They had a war with the Chopinids, and nothing ever came of it. I think it just white pieced out. Um, France is calling us into war against Hindustan right now, but I'm thinking now might be as good a time as ever to do this next holy war. It's going to be a big one. So we need to fund our troops fund our navy and let us start this war Hindustan's defender of the faith so we're gonna we're pretty much gonna join this war on France's side by starting our own war so let's call our allies who's gonna join everyone 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 Japan will not join well Japan you've been a crappy ally so far so I don't care What about Iberia? Iberia will join. France will join. Good. So let's get this shit started. Morocco. Morocco's been just dicks to everyone, man. Although Britain did just win a war against Mor Morocco. Britain took central Denmark, Schleswig and Finn, from Morocco. They also took uh, Portugal from Morocco. And they made Morocco spit out Corsica. But are they Muslim? No, they're still Catholic. So Morocco, that's the first war they've lost in ages. And we're going to declare war on them. Poor guys. I bet they don't know what's coming. Allied with Denmark. <laughs> Everyone's going to join, including France and Iberia. And Japan will not. Yeah, well, Japan, you guys are dicks. Mamluks. Come on, let me click. Mamluks. Holy War. Iberia, yes. France, yes. Good. Alright, we can do two more. Two more. Dos mas. Let's do Golden Horde. And 
Everyone's going to join except Japan and that's it. Okay. Who else can we do? Do we border Bengal? We do not. Hmm. We could do Mutapa again, but I don't really want to. Mm. Eh. That'll just have to do. We only have 28 years left of Holy Wars, so it's time to get them out of the way. Well, not so much out of the way, but it's time to get them going. The one thing I'm curious about, this little dark horse over here, Cyprus, they're allied with Syria. So let's see if they join. They did. Ha! So for eight infamy, I know that's a lot, for eight infamy we could annex Cyprus. <laughs> oh, that would be too much. That would really just be too much. But I do want to eventually give it to uh, Byzantium. In any case, who's in these wars? Chagtai, Malacca, Gujarat, Syria, and Cyprus. Just the Mamluks. Morocco, Denmark, Hejaz, and Swahili. Do we still have France as an ally? We do. Do we still have Iberia? We do. But I guarantee you Japan is not our ally. They are not. And offering an alliance is impossible. Well, we tried. We fucking tried, Japan. You guys just wouldn't join any of our wars. Wait, did Hindustan join against us? No, Hindustan did not join against us. After all of that jazz, Hindustan did not join against us. That's amazing. Hindustan and Atse. Huh. Well, I guess we'll join on France's side. I just didn't really want to. No guy, David Bengal. The only other guy we border is... Gujarat, but we're already at war with them. We border the Chopinists, but I don't want to go to war with them again because we haven't freed anybody yet. So I guess that's all we can do. We don't border Twer. Oh yeah, stuff that's been happening off camera. Twer won a war against Prussia, so they have a huge empire now, just massive. They have Moscow, uh, the future location of Saint Petersburg. They have. Chernigov, Minsk, Skov, Ryazan. They have a lot of, you know, Novgorod. They have a lot of, you know, core Russian areas. I don't know why they haven't formed Russia yet. I don't know what the requirements are. Maybe you can't be Muslim. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a kick in the teeth? Anyway, we have this gigantic war now. It's time for our vassals to shine. You guys need to totally shine. Oh, yeah, something that happened off camera. Our heir died. Remember our king that we had? Our crappy king? And then he had a decent looking heir, and I'm like, woohoo, we're gonna have a good heir. Well, our heir died. So we had to do, in the arms of a lover, we find, or in the arms of a maid or something, a housemaid, we find compassion. Well, now we have a new heir. His claim to the throne is weak, and his skills are okay. I wish he had better administration, but 386 is gonna be better than 445. For sure. So France is on our side. That's good. Iberia is going to help as well. So I guess what we should do is start bringing people over, like our navy needs to be brought over. I think we can leave th four armies over here. We have four armies in the New World, we'll just leave them over there. But we need, this army down here is fine, we need to be able to ferry our armies back and forth. So let's get your douchebag self over here. Probably kill some Moroccan navies on the way. And then just come over to the Aegean Sea and just chill. We've been building uh, colleges and cathedrals in lands that I plan to keep forever. These lands along here, these four, we're definitely going to keep these four. Uh, we might wind up spitting out Bulgaria, but maybe not. We might wind up spitting out uh, Bosnia or Serbia or Albania. You know, some of those things, just because we feel kind of like a, a protector of people. We don't. Our identity is still Romanian. And the rest of them can do whatever. But we've been building up as well. Uh, doing colleges and stuff in our capital and all of the core areas and stuff. We're doing all that. Uh, did we take a painter? We did take a painter. Alright, so let's keep getting paintings. Our ambassador died. So we're going to get a new ambassador right now. Level 5, that's fine. There we go. Yeah, 
Yes, 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 yes. Everyone is joining the war. So this navy, our new navy, is absolute crap because it takes forever to build these large ships. It's okay though. It will grow. That's what he told her. Oh yes, we're at war with Syria. That means I should probably go into Syria. Get me a general. And go into Syria. Please annex them. Turn off rebel hunting. You can do whatever. You will probably have to fight the Mongols. So... Oh, the Golden Horde. Well, it's the Mongols. So we might as well just go invade. Mainly I want their center of trade here in Ostrakhan. I'll probably give it to Crimea. I don't know. Someone suggested to merge Zaporozhye and Crimea. That actually sounds like a really good idea. Just so they can present like a united front against other people up here. I mean, we might do that. Does Zaporozhye have any other cores? No, that's like all of Zaporozhye's cores. So we would never be able to release them again. Eh, I'll think about it. I'll think about it, okay. But I do want to get this center of trade over here. It's not worth very much, but uh, whatever. And we converted Mergen, but we've had no luck in Karba or Dagestan, so we aren't able to release anybody yet. But unfortunately we are out of time, so this war... This war will have to wait until later. But the prime goals are going to be annexing Syria for two infamy. Uh, taking Cairo for the Mamluks. The rest of the Mamluks are getting invaded by Ethiopia, so not sure what's going to happen down there. We'll see. But if I want to release the Mamluks as a vassal, I'm going to have to take the rest of whatever Mamluks land they have. And Morocco, I kind of, you know, we declared war on them with the goal of just kind of decreasing their power. I don't want to take any land from them. Uh, well, I take that back. I do want to take this right here, the center of trade. Everything else they can keep. But I want the center of trade because it's, you know, massively profitable. And then we can probably make them spit out a, a metric fuck ton of people. You guys all there yet? Hurry up. There. Alright, merge the navies. Get on the boats. You're not hunting. Good, good. And get some more leaders. We can't because we don't have any diplomats. Whatever. Anyway, uh, leave some comments. Mom Luke accepted peace with the Chopinids. Yeah, leave some comments. Uh, rate the video. Subscribe. That sort of deal. It's all good, man. It's all fucking good. And uh, if you don't want to leave comments, that's fine as well. If you don't want to subscribe, that's fine as well. And da, da, da. I really feel bad about Japan, you know? We, we waited so long for them to come around and see the light and get an alliance. And they have not joined any of our wars. They've just been useless. So I'm going to remove the Bropan status from them. I'm going to remove their Bropanese adjective as well. And they can go do whatever the fuck they want. We're going to have Broberia, which sounds horrible. But we're going to do it, just because they're at least joining our fucking wars. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.